the yeah, that is happening tonight, um, was developed in an improvisation workshop where the teacher had us get up on stage and talk for about five minutes or less about someone that we found interesting, compelling, or fascinating. And it could be somebody fictitious, somebody true to life, somebody who we um, knew personally, or somebody we simply read about. But somebody who, you know, really ignited, you know, passion, fascination in us. And so someone talked about uh, some romantic warrior person who was sort of semi-historical and semi-fictitious, I think. And then he got up and told a story about that. And then the teacher put him in an improv in which the rest of the class played um, sort of uh, supporting characters in he played the... Um, the, you know, the man he talked about. And then, so I talked about my grandmother, and he put me in a scene in which I played her in a factory when she first immigrated to the United States in 1939, and how indignant she was because she had been a leading lady on the stage all over the German-speaking world, and, and so to uh, have her sitting in a factory not speaking English and being, you know, a low-life immigrant was very hard for her. So, so she was indignant and, do you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> and, so, um, so she, and, and so the other people in the class were cast as, you know, the, the foreman walking up and down, you know, get to work, you know, that sort of thing. And, and she was just so outraged that she had to do this work. So anyhow... Um, I uh, did that, and I didn't say anything about my grandmother having been an Academy Award-nominated actress later in her life. I simply had said she'd been the first woman architect in Austria, and she was accustomed to being in high society, and that in order to you know, do that low-life work for her it was very demeaning. And somebody in the class said to him afterwards, did you know... Libby's grandmother was a um, was nominated for an Academy Award for the film *Lilies of the Field* with Sidney Poitier, and the teacher said, "Oh my God, I love that movie! I mean, oh, I know, remember her very well. She was fantastic in that." And he said, "You have to write a one-woman show about this woman." And I said, "I don't know how to." I, I mean, I, I've never written anything. I, I, whose perspective? I mean, she was 98 when she died. How do you encapsulate 98 years of somebody's life in an hour and a half? And whose perspective, what aspects of her life would I focus on? And, and he said, well, if you knew any of that to begin with, you know, if you, if you, I said, what would the arc of the play be? And what would the, I, I, I just don't know where to begin. And he said, if you knew the answers to all those questions, the final product would be a piece of dead meat. He said, you don't, you don't need to know any of that right now. Just write down memories you have of her. Write down stories she told you. Write down dialogues you had with her. And we'll start putting those up in a, in a workshop, in this workshop. So that's what I did. <laughs> 